In this video, I'm going to show you five simple hacks that you must know in order to add life to your drawings. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing great. Here I am after a while. And in today's video, I like to share with you five simple hacks that I constantly use and I can guarantee it will make a difference to your own drawings once you start using them too. Most of these hacks were taken from my book, which is this one here. About 250 ways to get motion into your drawings, which you can find on physical bookstores or Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Do you know that kind of drawings that look fine and anatomically correct, but it seems kind of lifeless and uninteresting? That's exactly the kind of mistake I will show you how to avoid from now on. So let's jump right into hack number one, which is line of action. The line of action is an imaginary line that helps to lead the viewer's eyes through the drawing and clearly communicate the intent of a movement. It can be described as the dominant or longest line of a body and it's great for describing powerful motion in an illustration. Depending on how dynamic is the pose you're working on, think of it as the line that shows the main flow of the body, with the purpose of simplifying the movement and make it easier to be read. Usually, the line of action is related to the movement of the spine, by showing where the weight on the body is and how we balanced our character in a composition. Obviously, you won't find the line of action in every single drawing out there. Many characters are drawn with flat poses and in many times this is required, primarily if you're drawing more dramatic poses with almost no action involved. That being said, when trying to convey powerful motion, try to find where the weight is rested on your character and push your designs a little further using this technique. Let's jump into hack number two, which is opposing lines. Speaking of balance and weight shifting, this is another hack that I use all the time. This trick consists in bend one side of the character while stretching the other one. Let's take a body as an example. If the right shoulder of the character is down, we can draw the right hip up and vice versa. So if you trace an imaginary line on both of them, we'll be able to see the lines in opposition to each other. Once this starts to make sense to you, every time you draw a new character, you will try to find a way to place the opposing lines to their poses. This pattern is repeated in many situations, such as when the character is leaning and one of the limbs is supporting the weight of its body, or even in a face when the expression is opened up to just one of the sides, making the design look much more interesting. Which leads me to the third hack of this lesson, variation. Variation and unevenness are incredibly powerful tools to make your drawings feel more natural and believable. Too much evenness results in boring compositions. People love to see things from a real perspective, even in simple styles. A child will probably draw a fence with straight and even lines, but if we tweak the size of the bars, avoiding straight lines in their forms, it immediately becomes more interesting to the viewer. Other elements such as the curly lines on the wood and the rocks on the grass help to enhance the visual. This is variation in its pure essence. The concept of variation is also important when you add it to your line art, as I explained it in my previous video, so don't forget to check it out. Remember that when working on a 2D medium, we have to rely on things like foreshortening and perspective to fool the eye of the viewers and make them believe they are looking into 3D forms. So try to apply more variation when drawing the human figure as well. Avoid always drawing characters with perfect anatomy and lifeless expressions. This works sometimes, but it will not lead you anywhere in the long run. And let's be honest, we both know that you are doing this. So try to apply more variation to your drawings more often. You will see that this hack alone will lead your drawings to a whole new level. Let's jump into hack number four, which is exaggeration. Have you ever noticed that there's something about real life that doesn't make a drawing look interesting enough? One of the weirdest things I figured out when I was young is that tracing real life photos end up making the end result less realistic. Eventually, I discovered that pretty much all of my favorite artists 
use the concept of exaggeration to add that extra sense of appeal to their drawings. But how can you exaggerate your characters to bring them more appeal? Well, you can foreshorten some of its features to add more depth to a certain movement. You can exaggerate the movement itself by accentuating its curves. You can play with perspective. You can bulk up the muscles a little bit that will eventually create more plane changes, thus helping you to play with light and shadow, and so on. Obviously, you can also apply some cartoon craziness by showing the extreme changes in the physical appearance of a character, such as eyes pulling off from the face, and things like that. Let's wrap this up with one of the most important hacks of this lesson, which is gravity. Gravity is everywhere. We can feel the force of gravity being applied on a down position of a walk cycle, or when a character is trying to lift a heavy weight. Think about your character as a collection of shapes that are constantly pulled down to the ground. Some of these shapes have different densities. Some of them are hard, others soft. For instance, think of a soft object when it's pulled down by gravity. Its shape changes when it hits a harder object. Likewise, when a hard object is pulled down by gravity, it may change the shape of a softer object when both meet each other. What you have to do is to bring this concept to your own characters. For instance, a character that has too much mass, it's basically a collection of shapes, where some of them are pushed back by other shapes that are in the way. The famous concept of pear-shaped bodies is also based on weight and gravity, and it's used as a blueprint for building characters in cartoon styles. As I said, gravity is everywhere. It's definitely one of the most important concepts that every illustrator must know. In order to put this knowledge into practice, let's apply some of this concept in a drawing from scratch. Just in case you didn't know, I have a masterclass on how to draw faces and expressions in my style, where I cover topics such as how to make the best line art for your drawings, how to add cinematic light and shadow to your characters, how to apply emotions with simple tricks, and even my process for coloring. But that's not all. The icing on the cake is that you will have direct access to me during a period of 21 weeks. Over this period, I'll be giving you feedback on your own drawings in order to fix your mistakes while shortening your learning path. I will leave the link in the description in case you're interested.
check out the next video that will be available somewhere around next week where I will be covering a topic that somewhat is a continuation of what I presented here today and it will be extremely important for you to watch. The only way to avoid missing that out is by subscribing to this channel and clicking on the bell to receive notifications when the video comes out. And just out of curiosity, which one is your favorite hack? Are you applying all of them in your drawings? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll be answering all of them. Thanks for watching, stay safe and keep practicing. Let's be honest, we both know that you are doing this. Yeah, let's be honest, we both know that you're doing this.